the defensive possession's not over just because you make a stop or get in a good position. If they're getting the rebound, it's no good. You have to also get that. They're going to have to bring someone in, and they're going to have to develop a defensive identity. Because from what I saw yesterday, if someone said, what's the biggest problem on this team right now, it's the defense. Well, listen, I can understand where you're coming from, but I think you missed the biggest point as to why you pointed out the defense. Um, did you know that the Cleveland Cavaliers have the second worst offense in the National Basketball Association? They rank 29th. Second out of 30 worst? Teams, second worst. Mm. They, act, they rank 29th out of 30 teams in the NBA offensively and dropped 147 on the Brooklyn Nets without Darius Garland, without Kevin Love. So I just wanted to throw that out. But that still ain't the biggest takeaway from yesterday's game. I got news for you, Max. How about not getting the ball to Kevin Durant when it counted most? How about Kyrie Irving taking 28 shots, three more shots than Kevin Durant? How about Kyrie Irving shooting twice as many shots that's James Harden. When did we think we'd ever see that? Kyrie, well, it's not about who shoots more, but when you shoot 28 shots and James Harden shoots 14, nobody expected that. And so as a result of it, as the game waned, listen, and, and then also let's not forget, I mean, Kyrie did used to be a point guard for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Kyrie Irving did hit the game winning shot that clinched the championship in game seven back mm -hmm. in 2016. Kyrie Irving was a showstopper you know at Quicken Loads Arena, which is no longer the name of that arena. They got a different name now, okay? That Kyrie Irving, who, by the way, they paid tribute to during the game. But the other point guard there now, Sexton, finished with 42. And, oh, by the way, 22 in the overtime. Which says what about the defense? I understand that. But you're looking at the defense collectively. I'm looking at Kyrie Irving. You know what I'm, I'm looking at Kyrie Irving. The showstopper offensive player, Mr. Box Office, because he is Kyrie Irving. You walk through the turnstiles to watch that brother play. That's showing the but NBA. No question. Yeah. But in the end, but in the end, these are all elements that I'm talking about here. Yeah, you can point to the defense. Got to get the ball to Kevin Durant. Okay, but wait you, a minute. You can't shoot fallaways. Can't shoot fallaways. Can't shoot contested shots. I mean, you, he makes the difficult look easy sometimes. But sometimes they were difficult and they were unnecessary. And then when you're taking twice as many shots as James Harden, you don't need to be doing that. So I would have liked to have seen, let's say, for example, Kyrie take instead of 28 shots, how about 23? And Harden has about 19. And KD has his 25. Oh. That's what I would have liked. You know what I liked about what Kyrie did, though, is everyone's looking for that. Is Kyrie going to dominate the ball? Is he going to be able to share? Instead of letting that dictate to him and change his game, he just did his thing. It's his first game back. They'll figure that out. I'm not too worried about it. By the way, they'll figure he that beat, out. That's he not beat, what you said for years. I'm not talking about on the court that I'm worried. I'm talking about well, I'm in the talking about on the court. The I'm talking about thing. on the court. He beat Colin Sexton. Would have ended the game. I think it was was that the regulation or overtime? He beats him off the dribble. Would have ended the game, and they called him for the offensive foul. Yeah, but they overturned the it. They overturned it. Okay, they overturned that call. But but the point is. Kyrie Irving taking the last shot's going to happen sometimes. Sometimes it's going to be KD. Sometimes it's going to be James Harden. I agree. Harden. That's all good. Even uh, talk about the defense. Even let's talk about Sexton, right? He was taking some bad shots late in regulation and early in the overtime. He was being – they had two guys on him, hands in his face. He was still – because he's not bothered by defender's hand in his face. He's a, he's a, he's a baller. What happened? That's because Jet, they were leaving Jetty Osmond. Right? They were just leaving him on defense. Eventually, Bickerstaff notices it. Osman, I think he cut to the basket, gave him the ball, and they realized, okay, we can't leave Osman. We have to have – so now it's one he had guy. 25. He had 25. What Early on, he was hot, but late in regulation and early in overtime, they would just leave him defensively. Eventually, when they made him pay for it, now they can't just, just leave Osman. Now it's only one guy on Sexton, and he started lighting it up. They have defensive – they're going to have to get their defensive identity together. They have defensive I'm not, issues. I'm, I'm not saying that they don't have defensive issues. Obviously, I pointed out that they ranked – you know, listen, the, the Nets ranked the 20, 25th, and they gave up 147 to the 29th-ranked offense in the National Basketball Association. I'm not denying that. What I'm saying is when I walk away from this team, looking at this team last night, the biggest concern to me is that you cannot have a discrepancy where Kyrie Irving shows up on the court – and shoots twice as many times as Harden. Now, Harden had a triple-double, and so Harden could have been passing up shots himself, and we understand that. But in the end, you're going to have to even the scales to some degree. When we talk about continuity, in terms of expectations, looking at a team and saying, okay, this is what you should expect from them. I'm saying KD shooting about 25 times, Kyrie Irving shooting around 23 times, 
James Harden shooting about 19, 20, 21 times. That should be what it is. And the only reason why James Harden would elevate those numbers in terms of field goal attempts is because he's basically your point guard. For people to sit there, because James Harden had 12 assists. KD had eight. Kyrie had three. You know why? Because more for the most part, James Harden was pretty much running the show, which we know. Because, listen, if James Harden is your point guard, there's nothing wrong with that. And he may sacrifice shot attempts to make sure he feeds others because he's better at that than Kyrie Irving, to be honest with you. But in the end, you have to make sure that this dude that's averaged 30 over the last three years, at least 29 over the last four, at least 28 over the last five, you cannot have him shooting 14 shots to your 28 oh. if you expect Brooklyn to be successful. Oh, uh, oh. And you certainly can't avoid giving KD the ball when I'm when with Trump that, arrives. but that's those two different points. You saying why doesn't yeah, KD have points. the ball at the end of the game versus can Kyrie play team ball? What you bring up about Harden is right, and people should understand. When he's called a selfish player, I've never really agreed with that. He's never been Harden a Harden does and has always done what his team needed him to do. Hasn't always hit the big shots. That's my issue with him. But if, it, if you need him to set up teammates, he'll do that. We saw how well he played together with KD their first couple games. Now Kyrie's back, and it starts to fray. That's not, to me, about KD needs the last shot. Any of those three guys could take the last shot. I'll tell you what else. If Harris has a look, he can take the last shot. He shoots better than all those guys. Just can't get it himself the way they can. So that's not really my issue. KD must, must be play, you know, play hero ball at the end. My issue is, can Kyrie fit in with those two the way, on offense, the way Harden and KD fit in together? And even that, to me, is not as big as the defense. I think it is a big deal. It is just as big as defense when you talk about James Harden and Kyrie Irving. You've got to work that out. Yeah. Okay, you got to work that out, and you've got to work out understanding right. no matter how we great gotta I leave am, it there. Yeah. hot I am. Yeah. I'm not KD. Yeah, but he he got to have the ball. He, Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.